There is nothing better than riding your motorcycle out in the wild, finding a scenic spot, and plunking down for a night or two. With the ability to cover ground quicker than a car, truck, or RV, a motorcycle is perfectly suited to finding wonderful out-of-the-way places to get a good night's rest. Today on MC Garage, we talk about motorcycle camping gear. I love motorcycle camping. If you haven't tried it yet, well, you're missing out. I like a nice comfortable hotel just as much as the next rider, but there's something special about riding up to a destination, setting up your camp, and just enjoying the sights, sounds, and atmosphere offered up by Mother Nature. But an unprepared and uncomfortable campsite will sour that experience quickly. I'm gonna share some of my gear in my personal adventure bike camping kit that keeps me comfortable without taking up too much space on the bike. In fact, my entire kit will fit in most 35 to 45 liter side cases. First, you need some shelter. I've used all types of tents, from two-person hiking tents to motorcycle-specific tents with add-on garages and vestibules. But when saving space to keep the weight down, a well-built, single-person backpacking tent is the best choice. They pack down to a very small stuff sack and weigh anywhere from one to three pounds. Just make sure it has enough room for you and your gear in case it rains. Once you've got a nylon roof over your head, you're gonna need to be comfortable when it comes time to sleep. This piece is season and temperature dependent, but a backpacking sleeping bag is the jam. My personal favorite is rated to 15 degrees Fahrenheit and has a compartment for my inflatable sleeping pad. And the best part, it all fits in a small stuff sack and is very lightweight. It's also nice to have an inflatable pillow. Are you seeing a theme here? The less weight you add to your bike, the better. The effect on your motorcycle suspension and handling will be far less, allowing you to ride better for longer. We all think it looks super adventurous when the bike is piled high with gear, but you're gonna regret it when you have to pick the bike up after you tip over. There's plenty of options to be minimal and comfortable. Now that we have the housing and sleeping covered, it's time for some luxury. For me, this includes a small foldable chair for lounging around the campfire. These aluminum and nylon chairs are sturdy enough to hold up to 260 pounds. Another one for me, is a hammock. These things are killer to relax on after a hard day of riding. They're made of ripstop parachute nylon and they don't take up much space at all. You're gonna need to be able to see once it gets dark. An LED headlamp doesn't take up too much space in your bag and it's useful for camp work and for bike maintenance. I also like to bring along a small battery powered lantern. Also, don't forget a power bank to charge your phone and electronics. Finally, you need to eat and drink. I like to keep it simple with fruits, snack bars, and dehydrated meals. To cook your meals, a jet boil is the way to go. It brings water to a boil very quickly for all those meals in a bag. This particular model also has a French press for coffee as well, but it can be a pain to clean up afterwards. But I think the trade-off is totally worth it. I've also got a gas burner and pot set up if I feel like bringing canned soup or chili instead of dehydrated meals. And don't forget a folding spoon and fork. Well, that's it for my kit. I spent many a night refining my gear list while on the bike. I like to keep it simple and I like to keep it lightweight to get the most out of my riding without giving up any comfort at the end of the trail. So that's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe, share. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. We'll see you next time.